Posters, placards, adverts, millions of messages from thousands of companies every single day. But do we even notice what they are saying? Wouldn't it be great for advertisers if they could see exactly what we see? Hidden under railway arches in South London is a new British firm which may allow them to do exactly that by literally tracking the movement of your eyes on a website. These yellow heat spots show what a sample of people looked at when shown this pretty ordinary picture. So they've synchronized my eyeballs with the screen and now they're going to track those eyeball movements on a website that I'm not aware of. So it's going to be an accurate representation of what I would look at and I don't know where my eyes will go. No headsets or intrusive machinery, the little red dots follow my pupils as they dart around the screen. I managed to completely ignore the adverts though on this well-known website. So I've done the test and as you can see my eyeballs didn't exactly look at those parts of the websites that at least advertisers hoped I would, so they may need to get back to the drawing board. But what do the experts think of this new technology? Thousands and thousands of messages every day. People tune it out. What people trust is other people. Companies need to spend more time thinking about precise messages rather than just blasting out to every nook and cranny they can find. Well, then you can statistically say whether you look at there or what you see there. But the man behind Again, this eye tracking firm says it's only the start. Get ready for the next wave of technology which almost reads your mind, a process called EEG. There is a, a lot of action in neuroscience and, and measuring brain waves and EEG. So this, uh, this will definitely be the next wave. Uh, a lot of people have said that EEG is where eye tracking was five or ten years ago. What's, so what's EEG? Brain waves. Even though these new types of technology won't be built into laptops anytime soon, make no mistake about it, what we look at and what we think may soon be as measurable as the cost of placing an advert. Joe Lynham, BBC News.